saying that McChicken definitely killed the king, but... Oh, wait, no, I am. Sorry, uh, I'm definitely saying that he killed the king. Sorry, I misread the script. Hey, dude, you want to come to our dinner party tonight? Well, you're the king now, so I can't really say no. Are you going out riding this afternoon? Yeah, I'm, uh, going out before supper. Cool. Uh, is your son going with you? Uh, yeah, he is. Why? No reason. Bye. Witches said that Banquo's kids are gonna be kings. Hmm, I'm gonna need to get some more murdering done. Why are we here? Aren't we from the April Fool's video? The guy who makes these videos realized that he didn't have any actors to play the two assassins, so he called us in. Ah, my favorite assassins. Hi, boss. So, uh, you gotta go kill Banquo now. Oh, and the most important part, make sure to get his son too. If you kill Banquo and let his son live, the whole thing is pointless. Understand? I understand completely. I can personally completely guarantee you that we will kill both of those people that you mentioned. Hey sweetie, what's up? Why do you ask? I'm fine! Okay, can you chill enough to hang out at the dinner party tonight? I guess so. It just sucks that Banquo and his son Fleance are still alive because those witches said that Banquo's kids are going to be kings instead of ours. Now, well, what are you going to do? I'm going to do the best I can. What? Nothing. Let's kill these. Wait, hold on. Who are you? I'm the third murderer. Aren't there supposed to be only two murderers? Yeah, so for some reason in Act 3, Scene 3, a third murderer who wasn't in the last scene with the murderer shows up and is focused on briefly. There's a lot of speculation in the academic world as to the significance of the third murderer. It's really interesting. You should look into it. Are you... Danny DeVito? No. You know what? It's fine. This video is already such a garbage fire. Let's just kill the dude. Get him. Run, Fleance! We got him! Weren't we also supposed to get the kid? It's probably fine. Is anyone else hungry? Let's go get some donuts. Welcome to the dinner party, folks. Hey, did whoa, you are covered in blood. Yeah, we just got done killing Banquo. Want a donut? Not just now. So, you killed Banquo and Fleance, great! All my worries are gone. We, uh, actually didn't get the kid, sorry. I hope that wasn't important. I have a significant revision to the all my worries are gone standpoint. You good, bro? I'm great, why did you ask? Where's that Banquo got to? Hmm, I hope he's just late and nothing unfortunate has happened. You should sit down. Okay, I'll- OH! What the holy f**k is that?! What's happening? Is he okay? Uh, it's a- uh, it's a neurological condition. He'll be fine in a second. Nothing to worry about. FOR THE LOVE OF HEAVEN, HE'S COVERED IN BLOOD! Nothing to worry about. Well, I mean, it certainly looks like the ghostly corpse of Bancro is sitting in my chair, doesn't it? You need to calm it down. Hey, anyone remember the good old days when if you hired some assassins to kill a dude, he stayed dead? Hey, hey, chill. Dinner party. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> hey, guys, sorry about that. It was just... Oh, he's back. Oh, no, he's back. Oh, he's back. Okay, he's gone again. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. You're kind of killing the mood here, man. Okay, the party's over now. Please leave. But- Leave! So do you think ghosts are gonna kill me in my sleep or nah? Go to bed. Eh, uh, that's fair. What's up with Macduff? He didn't come to the party. Ah, uh, whatever, I'll ask the spy I have in his house. You'll do what now? That reminds me, I gotta go talk to those witches tomorrow. If there's anything I've learned so far in this story, it's that seeking witches for advice is a great idea, with no negative consequences. So. Ah! Oh, hey, it's Hecate, the ancient Greek goddess of witchcraft, and our patron goddess. Hey, uh... What was up with that thing where you told the dude his future without asking me? Not cool. 
Plus, the, the dude is like super whiny. Like, it would be one thing if you caused the ironic fate and downfall of someone cool like Abraham Lincoln or John Cena or the guy who animated Chandra Gupta in Civ 6. But no, you went with the guy who thinks red and blue plaid is a solid fashion choice. Tell you what, the dude's coming back to learn more about his fate. Call me this time, and we'll mess him up. Cool? Cool. Glad we could have this chat. Okay, then. Okay, real talk, this scene is boring. The entire scene just boils down to something shady about McFlurry, but we don't know what. Everything's going wrong because it turns out McFlurry is a terrible king. Malcolm and Macduff are in England asking the King of England for help, and McFlurry is mad about it. That's it. 400 words to say what I said in 40. Look, Shakespeare does some really cool things with language. I get that. I'm just saying I totally understand why some people think Shakespeare is boring. I guess. Anyway, it looks like McFlurry is going to declare war on some folks. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs>